Hello folks and welcome to another review. So in this one I'll be looking at these TP-Link power line adapters. Now you might be saying well you've already done a uh, review of power line adapters before from TP-Link but these are on the new G.HN standard. So how is that different to AV2? Well G.HN utilizes a more robust feature set that actually helps to minimize interference on the line which is the biggest thing that contributes to slower speeds on these over wi-fi so these can also run over um coaxial and phone lines but um for the most part they'll be used this will be used on power lines because that's what these are made for but the standard itself can be used on different lines um than what these would normally be for so there's two different types here these are the pass-through ones the benefit of that being that you can, of course, put a plug into them and you don't lose the plug socket as a result. These bigger ones are also of a faster speed. As you can see there, they run at 2400. Now, obviously, that's a maximum theoretical uh, speed and um, it's unlikely you'll hit that. But it's possible on the in the absolute best case scenario. <clears throat> and then we've got these little ones that are 1200. So... What I would suggest is put these faster ones in place where you're going to have faster demands. For example, 8K, 4K video, uh, online gaming, that sort of thing. And use these littler ones where it's just going to be basic streaming and whatnot. Now, they'll still do enough for 4K. But if you're going to, or, or for example, if you're going to use a Wi-Fi booster, plug it into one of these and it will use the power line instead of just boosting already weak Wi-Fi signal. So I'll be using these to boost my Sky Wi-Fi um, speeds. And then I'll be using these, um, for example, to link to my computer upstairs. Um, I don't personally do much online gaming on it. Um, so as long as it provides fast enough speeds for me to download Steam games and that, I'll be happy. So what about the design? I think the design of these is pretty cool. Um, and I think that this will do. This will assist us in getting rid of heat and whatnot, because these can, the older versions of these can get pretty hot. Um, they're actually slightly thicker than the older versions, um, but they should be faster. So the next step would be for me to hop on the computer upstairs, which is plugged in via um, older TP-Link home plugs on the AV2 standard, although rated for 2,000 megabits per second. And we'll see how um, that performs, and then we'll plug these in and see how these perform. And it's also worth noting that these newer GHN um, standard ones can't communicate with AV2. So any of your older ones, you'll need to take out of the network um, and use these instead. Um, that's not massively well... Um, publicized by the companies manufacturing these but it's um it's worth knowing because you'll need to purchase a, a set um, these regularly retail for two of them for about a hundred pounds and these smaller ones probably about 60 to 80 and of course you can get versions of these with built-in wi-fi repeaters and range extenders but these ones don't have that so it can be a fairly expensive method of um upgrading your network but it's worth doing because um, it, although it won't be as fast as Wi-Fi, it will be more reliable. Um, for example, my Sky Router uses um, Wi-Fi 6E. And if you're in the same room or the room directly above it, it is really, really fast. Um, but it, as you get further away, the speeds do drop off a lot um, because it's relying on 5 gigahertz for those speeds. And um, that doesn't travel as far. Of course, 2.4 gigahertz travels further, but then you reduce speed. So let's see what the speed is on my older ones and then compare with these ones. Okay, so this is the speed we're getting on Broadband Speed Checker using our power line adapters that I currently have, which is the AV2 2000 ones. Let's try a couple more and see what we're getting there as well. On uh, broadbandtest.org.uk, we got 70, let's say 78 megabytes per second and a higher upload speed. Same ping though, so a um, bit of variation there. And here we only got 63. So you will get some variation. So let's meet in the middle and say 75 to 80 megabits per second for my current setup. So, and let's go ahead and uh, connect the new ones and see if we get anything different. Okay, so I've got all the new power line adapters in and it is important to note that you must only use one type. You can't even have one of the other ones connected. Like it could be easy to do in a spare room um, because um, it will slow it all down or might even make it not work. 
So using the new adapters, the ping has dropped to 10 and we're getting 205 megabits per second download rate, which is pretty good and 109 upload. Let's check out some of the other speed tests just to see how they compare as well. On broadband speed checker, we've got 114 down and 39 up. So a bit of variation. But of course, if you've got things like um, washing machines running, they will actually affect that as well. And on the fast speed checker, we've got 160. So averaging out, let's say it's, I don't know, 150 megs per second. Um, I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Um, that's a lot faster than it was before. And the ping is a lot lower too. So I can honestly say it's worthwhile getting these new GHN rated ones. Um, also, they're less susceptible to interference from things like washing machines, uh, microwaves running, other high draw things on your network. They're a lot less susceptible. So I'm very happy with them. They're going to speed up my internet usage and uh, everything will be quicker. So uh, I'll give them a 10 out of 10. Very easy to plug in and set up. Although actually I'm going to drop that to a 9 out of 10 because the app that you use to set them up uh, on your computer or iPhone is not uh, the best app. But um, yeah, 9 out of 10. A bit more expensive, but well worth it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, share this video on your socials, and of course, check out my Patreon. Have a very lovely day.